So today we are in Ensenada, located two hours drive south of San Diego. It is a very popular destination for Americans coming down for that taste of Mexico. But one thing Ensenada is famous for is its food, particularly its seafood. So today we're gonna go and explore this wonderful city. Well, it's busy today, isn't it? I think a cruise ship has just come in. There are lots of people. Yeah, one thing, uh, Ensenada is a popular destination for some of these huge cruise ships. So uh, people come to port, they jump off and uh, they have a look around, around the city, eat some food, get back on the cruise and set off into the sunset. I've just realised as a full-time travel blogger, I have never been on a cruise. Have you ever been? On never. One? Been on a ferry. <laughs> Anybody been on a cruise? I'm not sure. Would you recommend it? I think I'd prefer the uh, freedom of driving in a van. It's all the way around the town. There's lots of these lovely little food stands. This one's selling fruit juice. And uh, we're heading down to the, uh, the waterfront to begin with. So the, uh, the waterfront down here is full of the uh, tourist sh souvenir shops. Oh, you can smell the leather, that all the, the cowboy boots and the belt. Oh, these are funky. That's nice. That's like a poncho style. Hola. Thank you, it's okay. Just walking down the, uh, the pavement here, all the way along. They've got these wonderful little tiles. First impressions of Ensenada is lovely. It's a very pretty town. So all the way down here, there's more and more food stands. It's a really good atmosphere walking around. Ah, there you go. That is the uh, the fish market. So Ooh. Ensenada has an amazing fish market, apparently being so famous for fish that I, uh, I think we should definitely go and check it out. Oh, wow. This is like the ultimate fish market. It's got shrimps and crabs. Wow. Hola. Hola. Serious amount of beautiful seafood here. They've got smoked fish. Looks absolutely fantastic. For all you fish lovers, you can literally get everything down here. Huge clams, tanks of all sorts of things. It's really good. We come down to the waterfront. You got all the boats here that go out on little tours. You can see the huge cruise ships and you can hear the party atmosphere. There's a band playing, there's people dancing and uh, I cannot believe the size of that cruise ship. In fact, it's a Disney cruise, that one right there. Look at that. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. <laughs> So we've actually come a few blocks away from the uh, harbour front here in Ensenada. And Ensenada is famous for something that you would probably have heard of, fish tacos. Yeah, fish tacos are immensely popular throughout Mexico. But apparently they were actually born here in Ensenada. So, uh, so back in the 50s and 60s, the, uh, the Japanese used to come into the uh, biodiverse waters of Baja and uh, they actually brought with them the tempura style of cooking. And the locals here actually improved upon it and created the fish taco. That is where the fish taco was born and uh, the place that we're about to go to now taco phoenix you can see it on the other side of the street it's apparently the first ever fish taco stand ever and uh, it was opened in 1970 so uh, i think that's probably the best place to start with eating fish tacos today Oh, 
So we've eaten quite a few fish tacos since we've been here in Baja. Uh, but this one, as I say, has been going since 1970. And has the longest queue. It does have the longest queue. And you know it must be good uh, if it's been going that long. Looks absolutely amazing, isn't it? They got all the all the toppings. They got lime, cabbage, salsas, and you can see the uh, the fryer uh, frying the fish in the hot oil with all the fish draining on the side. And let's have a bit of lime. A little bit of onion. A little bit of red onion. Oh, that's got a little bit of spice in it. Cabbage. Got to have cabbage. A little bit of salsa. So how good does this look? You've got nice, really crispy bits of fish here. Oh, just tasting that fish, the batter is off the scale in flavor already. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna tuck right in. Mm. That is by far the best tasting fish taco I have ever had. You gotta have the cabbage, you gotta have the salsa, we've got a hit of heat, crispy, flavoursome deep fried fish in a tortilla and uh, a little squirt of lime juice on top. I love days like this when we can just go around and eat. So just walk in uh, around town you see so many Japanese restaurants and uh, this must have been the influence from the original Japanese that came here way back in the 50s. We've come down to another fish taco stand, Taco Castillo. This one was actually recommended to us by uh, Ricardo at the garage in Tijuana. He, uh, he said when he was a kid he used to come to Ensenada and he always used to have his uh, fish tacos from here and he reckons this is the best fish taco place in Ensenada so it's only right that we try another one. <laughs> There we go, look at that. Put the cabbage in for you, a little bit of salsa. Picante. Picante. Mucho picante or pequeño? Mucho. Mucho. <laughs> okay. A lot of spice. Uh, so that's what is that guacamole? So we'll put a little a bit of washi sauce. We can have a little bit of. Uh, I can have a little a bit little of a spice? little bit of spice, but oh, just a little not bit. Too much. We're English. That would go very wrong. And a bit of lime. A bit of lime. Is this your local? Oh, is this your local place to come? Uh, this is my favorite. Oh, oh yeah. For fish tacos, yes. Okay, so the uh, the batter of the fish is just as crispy. It's good. It's really good. Okay, I'm going in for the chomp. That is equally as good. Ricardo, you're right. This is just as good. And uh, hey, fish tacos is a thing here in Ensenada and I'm a happy man. They have a lot of tents with food and beer and drinks oh, and you name it. That's okay. where we're going. After that, we're going there. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Welcome. So this uh, lovely local lady, she was saying the Mardi Gras is actually happening today and there's a procession just down the road, which is a bit like their carnival. Uh, so we've definitely picked the right day. So we're going to definitely go and check that out. So you can actually hear the music and see the procession right up in the distance there. So after checking out the, uh, the Mardi Gras procession, we're heading towards the seafront and there's another place that uh, we've been recommended to go and try while we're here. 
That's a great landmark. There's a seriously big Mexican flag up there. <laughs> Follow the Mexican flag and you're heading towards the seafront. You've also realised that when you cross the road, people just stop. Okay, this is the place we're heading to. But it's so busy. Oh my goodness. There's a good sign. Look how busy that is. Okay, so we come down to La Guerrens. This street food stand is one of the most popular in town. Anthony Bourdain named it as possibly the best street food stand in the world. The world? That's quite a big calling, isn't it? It's also appeared on Mark Wayne's channel and stuff. We're going to give it a go. It's actually lots of raw fish, sea urchin paste, and things that make me a little bit nervous, to be honest. But we're going to give it a go. And uh, it's such a popular thing that we have to do it. It's been operating since 1960 by uh, Sabrina Bandera. Uh, who was the daughter-in-law of the founder and together nowadays her husband and uh, son carries on running the place. <laughs> yeah, the Singapore Pusada is a crab shell and we shop shrimp, octopus and scallops on top. That's my top so right Okay, now. I think... If you ask me what's better, you gotta try one of each. <laughs> I don't eat seafood. So it's I just me. Ah, there you go, Singapore. 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 Okay, we're gonna do it. Singapore. Wow, look at that. But, wait, I gotta hook you up with the salsa. Oh, the salsa. Uh, I like it a bit spicy. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's go for it. How about any allergy to peanuts? No allergy. Wait, Singapore, okay, we're getting some extra uh, sauces and stuff yeah, on yeah, top. We're gonna, we're gonna hook you up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the energy is amazing and it's the queue is just massive it's just constantly busy muchos gracias look at that beauty oh look at that that is the most colorful tostada i've ever seen in my life that looks like a thing of beauty it does it's like a piece of art look at that so this is a tostada which is on a really crispy base we've got avocado he's put some peanuts some salsa we got some uh, shrimp on top some fish or ceviche I can actually see this octopus and everything on here am I mad this looks delicious look at this I've never this is not the normal sort of thing I would eat oh my god That is literally an explosion of flavours in your mouth. Beautiful fish, crispy tostada, creamy sauce, spicy peanuts. Oh, it's just amazing. Oh, this is this is, is by far the best thing I have eaten today. Absolutely amazing. You have to come here and try this. It is the most unique tostada and the most colourful tostada I have ever had in my life. We've met Sabrina. <laughs> Mucho gusto, who is the celebrity mother of the family that runs this incredible place. World famous. World famous. You can see why, because the food here is absolutely incredible. There you go. You can see her here with Anthony Bourdain. So if you're looking uh, for a non-street experience, but you want the same delicious food, then they have this wonderful restaurant here where you can uh, experience it and sit down and enjoy your time here. The, uh, the guys at the Tostada stand were saying how Anthony Bourdain back in the 80s actually flew them to Singapore for a food festival and it was so successful that they were supposed to keep going for eight days. They sold out after two days. Uh, they took 2,500 tostadas and ended up selling 25,000 by the time they finished. And it was that moment that really sort of catapulted their food stand into what it is today. And it's still busy. So the, the, uh, the other end of town is definitely more manic. 
more tourists, more people selling stuff. Everybody's having a good song and dance. We've ordered a margarita. <laughs> Ensenada is not only the birthplace of fish tacos, it's also the birthplace of the famous margarita. And there are two establishments that claim they invented it. The first is Husongs, established in 1892 it is the oldest and best known cantina in Baja. You can't come to Ensenada without visiting Husongs. In 1941, Husongs bartender at the time supposedly mixed it for Margarita Henkel, the daughter of the German ambassador to Mexico, and this gave birth to the drink that we all know today. We stood sipping on our margaritas and soaked up the atmosphere. I am sure the old walls could tell a story or two, and looking at everyone drinking and dancing to the live music, I'm sure by the end of the day, there'll be a few more stories. Before we left, we gave them a Tread the Globe sticker to add to their impressive sticker display. We've managed to get away from the crazy, uh, the crazy noise. Wow, Hussons was proper, proper noisy today and they're really, really hectic, but that's because of the Mardi Gras going on. What a great atmosphere. Everybody was having fun, dancing. You could see all the old memorabilia on the walls and it was a fabulous, fabulous place to go and hang out. A little bit crazy, but fun. And there's a cool bar, the prison bar, but it is actually closed. This one is for you, Adam. <laughs> so the second place to have a margarita here in Ensenada is at the Bar Andalus. Look at that, that's quite a piece of artwork here. It's located in the former Hotel Playa y Casino, which opened in 1930. Cheers. It's said that the owner back in 1940, Margarita King, also claims to have invented the margarita. I don't mind the fact that there's two bars that claim it. It just means we get to have two. Cheers. <laughs>